Why does an onion make you cry? How does this stable piece of vegetable turn into a volatile sulfur-containing gas? Let's find out today. Yes, today we are investigating something that makes me weep. Specifically cooking. Now, I weep while cooking because I'm not very good at it. And if I try to make a delicious food and it comes out blackened, burned, and gross, I weep because I don't know how to cook. However, this will make you cry even if you enjoy cooking. Why does it do that? This is an onion, by the way. This is not an easy question to answer. In fact, we, there have been scientists working on this since 1970, and we still don't know exactly why this happens. It's very complex, and there's lots of nuances that can't just be explained saying, ah, oh, obviously, this chemical reaction produces sulfuric acid in your eyeballs, and that's why. No, so let's get into the history of this. We actually have to start all the way back in the 1970s with Eric Bloch. Now, Eric Bloch is a chemist, and he started working on why do onions make you cry? And he was able to isolate a certain compound in onions, specifically the sulfur-containing compound within onions called the lacrimatory factor, or LF, as we'll call it. And that comes from the Latin lacre, I believe, which means tear. Okay, so what does this lacrimatory factor do? Well, if I were to cut into this onion, well, actually, before I cut into this onion, this onion right now is stable. There's nothing in this onion. I can wave it around my face and my eyes, and it will not cause me to tear up. That's because it's stable. It's not causing any chain reactions to cause sulfuric gases to arise outside of this onion. So that's changes when I cut into it. The secret ingredient is enzymes. Enzymes are nature's fire starters. So right now, I've just cut this onion. It's going into panic mode. There's an enzyme. I'll give you the part that we understand first. This enzyme is called alanase, and it exists in onions, and it exists in garlics, and things like that with like strong aromas. And alanase inside of onions is converting the stable sulfoxides, the sulfoxides, inside of this onion into the gas that will react with your tear glands and cause you your eyes to start water. Now, let's just keep going here. That's also why it isn't instantaneous. So if I were to cut into an onion, I'm not going to start crying right away. That's because there has to be some chemical reactions taking place before the gas gets released and mixes with your eyeballs and then causes your eyes to water. So you're safe for a few minutes after you start cutting an onion. So just to break it down, traditional science says that there are sulfoxides within this onion, and when you cut through the skin, the enzymes of alanase react with the sulfoxides within the onion, and then that creates sulfenic gas, and then that goes through the process of eventually turning into propanethyl S oxide gas, which is what this gas cloud is being released by this onion right now and billowing into the air and into your eyes, which is what causes the discomfort. Sorry, that would be syn propanethyl S oxide. But, like most things, even if you get a little bit deeper, it gets more and more complicated. For example, in the year 2000, Japanese scientists were trying to make a tearless onion. One in which, if you were to cut it, you're not going to start crying. And they were able to isolate the alanase enzyme. So they took the alanase, alanase enzyme and they took it out and they introduced it to sulfoxides that they were able to isolate from the onion, and nothing happened. Absolutely nothing. So what was that all about? Obviously then, it's not quite as simple as just having the alanase enzyme reacting with the sulfoxides in the onion. So what is happening? And that's when they discovered a second enzyme. So after the alanase starts reacting with the sulfides, there's a second enzyme that must continue it up. They called it LF synthase. And that's where we stopped. We still don't know exactly why, pardon me, <laughs> we don't... Mm. Okay, one moment. <laughs> we still don't know exactly why 
onions make you cry. We can see the final result because it releases a gas that makes your eyes irritable and that triggers the tear glands to actually release moisture to flush out your eyes, but it's still a mystery and we're still working on it, which is so cool. There's always new things to discover with chemistry and science in general. So how can you stop onions from making you cry? Well, you can't because this is a chemical function. When you cut an onion, it will release the sulfenic acid and cause yourself to cry, but if you were to wear goggles, the gas can't get in your eyes, so it can't irritate them. Ah, I should have done that. Ah! Alternatively, you can cut your onions underwater, and then when the gas gets released, it just goes into the water, and as long as you're not washing your eyes out with your onion water, which I don't recommend, you probably won't end up crying. There has been some success in chilling or freezing the onions beforehand where the enzyme just doesn't quite work as effectively to turn the sulfides within the onion into the eye-irritating gas. This has been a shorter episode with Destructive Creativity, but I am Jonathan Allers, and I'll see you next week on Wednesday morning. Make sure you subscribe and give this channel a like, it really helps us out. We are here for you, for science, and for fun. So, see you next time! Bye!